What's going on YouTube? It's Ray from Philly and Ray Ray here on this Saturday, April 21st. And this is our response to Rhina Martin's 100 subscriber contest. First of all, congratulations for reaching 100 subscribers. If you guys haven't checked him out, please be sure to do so. Um, he's got an incredible uh, sports fan cave room with unbelievable collectibles. I mean, not just cards, but pictures, autographed baseballs, you name it. And in his contest, he wants to know what got you involved, like what got you hooked into the hobby. Um, I started collecting baseball cards in 1979 when my grandfather bought me uh, packs of cards. And, uh, but I really wasn't hooked on it. I was just more like a leisurely thing. And then in 1980, pretty much the same thing. Um, then in, uh, 81, I uh, was in a store near my grandparents' house and I saw this magazine, the first ever issue of baseball card magazine. So when I saw cards in a magazine, it made it seem like, uh, cards were really more valuable and prestigious. It just gave them like a whole different uh, vibe for me to see baseball cards, which I never seen before displayed in a magazine. And this was issued, this is volume one, number one in spring, 1981, as you can see right there. And I've had this magazine forever. So, um, try and give you some quick glimpses of the, some of the things in here. Let's see. Very old cards. It's just a really cool articles. So if you guys can find this magazine on eBay, I would recommend doing so. Um, I also have uh, volume two that came out in fall 1982, came out a year later. So some of you guys might remember this magazine too. And seeing some of the ads are really cool. But when you see baseball cards displayed in a magazine like this, it just gave it a whole different opinion, a whole different outlook to see, you know, cards in a magazine like this. And then I think it has a price guide in here. Yeah. Even has a price guide in here. For the heck of it, let's look at the 52 Tops Mantle. In 1981, as you guys know, it just sold recently for $2.8 million. And um, so let's see if we can look for, here's 53 Bowman. I'm curious to see, maybe they don't go back to 52. No, because 52 mantles on the front cover, so there's got to be a 52 mantle in here. Where the heck is it? Was that it? It's just this article, this page is here. We're going to have the 52 mantle right there. Well, I'm curious. I would really like to see the Onus Wagner card, 17,500. Uh, Onus Wagner tobacco card. 52 mantle worth $1,100. It's right in the bottom of the magazine. 1952 mantle worth $1,100. We can I'd, get like eight of them. I would say it's going up quite a bit. It's $2.8 million now. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, make sure you check out Ryan and Martin. Um, this was, I kept this magazine all these years, so it's 27 years old now. And uh, this is what got me hooked on it, was when I see them displayed in the magazine like this, it just, it just made the cards seem that much bigger. So thanks a lot uh, for having this contest, John, and make sure you check him out and keep on collecting.